Ents just threw, what, 15 smokes and didn't run? That's a good nade. Subscribe untuk mendapatkan info dan update terbaru dari PUBG PC Indonesia. This done, but his level 3 gear dangerously close to being broken. Meanwhile, Ents getting ready for the inevitable uh, push out of that apartment building. And for now, we can play behind the uh, wall as well, actually. I would uh, I would be surprised if he goes into this. Just play outside behind. Yeah, exactly. Try and play here. Maybe prone down. Hold them from outside. And yes, this one in particular, too. Detonation Gaming Wide and Ents will have to play for the same area here. There's no way in the universe they will try and vault over that nade. is good. Got me. Tries to get away, but Squeaky connects it on the dot. Second one comes in. We'll maybe get him down, but this is what I was worried about. Who will maintain control on that east side of the circle? Detonation Gaming Wide are still inside the back six building. And you have Ents now finally trying to make the push on up, but 4AM are containing them. Yeah, the counter grenades from 4AM and the shots from Detonation Gaming White. Here comes Venatica again. That's one more of Zenith. There's still one to go. Kickstart tries to outduel him through the window. Neither player managing to land their shots there. Stunned through, and finally, Kickstart is able to take Venatica down, but not after. <laughs> Venatica able to do critical damage to them, and there is the smoke wall. As we get ready, this one this one might just be pure smokes in the middle of this circle for the remainder of this. I mean, just get the x-ray on right now and never turn it off for our observers because nothing else matters. Uh, Squeaky is in the middle of fire. Grenades raining on top of Ents now. Detonation Gaming White. They've been quiet throughout this game. That means they have a lot of throwables left. Ents just threw, what, 15 smokes and didn't run? That's a good nade. That's a good nade. That's oh! a good nade. Rust and Ma gets the triple with one nade, and he has one more. Throw that nade the exact same spot, and that's going to be a quad kill with that nade. It's on point. It's a little far. He's going to get them. He's going to get all of them, and there you go. Rust and Ma takes down the entirety of Detonation Gaming wide. Wow, Rustin Mar putting himself right up there with 4AM with those crazy grenades. Godby now gonna let loose. Molly's in front of him trying to block the entrance of Ents with his own Molly's. And Rustin Mar, for all that hard work, goes down to, to Godby. Diggory gets the knock onto Shaolu. Kickstart still alive for Zenith. He could actually clutch this out. It's two for Ents, four for 4AM, four for 4 but Shaolu is knocked and essentially out of this one. Tixu, I love this, gets up on top of the roof. Gonna try to lock it down. Here come the smoke from Kickstart. Still quite a few in the bag for him as 4AM is stuck on the outside of this. The further they come out of this, it's just like Iro in that last game. He could just poke from the top. Gets a little bit of damage and immediately starts to move over to Forever. Grenade up. Whoops. Bit cooked that one just a bit too much. And Tixu comes down. Kickstart's there. Kickstart's going to get him. It's up to Kickstart to try to win this against 4AM Forever in front. Grenade out front. That could be really good for Kickstart. It's going to land right next to him. Oh no, it's too too long though. 4 a.m. with good maneuvers to avoid it. Smoke here. Man, Toby Kickstart wants to try to do this. He's gonna flank around the side. 4 a.m.'s completely tunneled on the wrong one, but they're just able to get it done. And that's gonna be the win for 4 a.m. 13 kills along the way. And they really fought tooth and nail for that.